Dear Peter, you made my speech repetitive, given the fact that you have already said everything. And you have completed yours with education. So let me first start mine with education. This school, the high school Slobodan Škerović, it's probably one of the pillars of excellent education in this country. And for it to be this great pillar, we all need to thank to the great teachers of this school. So I would all ask you to make a big applause at the beginning for the teachers of this school and for the teachers in Montenegro. <laughs> Dear Peter, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to be here with you tonight at the gathering of the Friends of the United Nations in Montenegro. Tonight, we have gathered to mark the end of the year and to celebrate our joint efforts and achievements and to say a farewell to a great friend of our great country, to our Peter. The year that is now almost behind us was full of challenges, but also it presented an opportunity for joint action and solidarity. We all worked hard, devotedly, and with a common goal to make our society more successful, more prosperous, and more devoted to the United Nations SDG agenda. From the very first day of taking the office of the President of Montenegro, I endeavored to strengthen ties and cooperation with the United Nations system, firmly believing that international cooperation is the basis for solving global problems that are also present in this country. The President's office has been engaged with dedication, the supporting various programs and initiatives aimed and only aimed at improving human rights, social cohesion, and sustainable development. Thus, tonight, I can state with a great pleasure that in the previous period, our cooperation with the United Nations system in Montenegro not only became stronger, but also more efficient and more effective. So we marked new partnerships, including the creation of the Montenegro's SDG fund. We focused on children and their rights without neglecting the rights of others. We talked about the structural reforms and the structural changes that our society need in the area of social inclusion, education, and health. And we also raised issues in the field of gender equality and needs for the young people of Montenegro. The fruit of our joint cooperation was the successful representation of Montenegro at the United Nations General Assembly in September of this year, as well as the participation of the country at the Climate Change Conference in Dubai. All the UN system agencies have shown on every single occasion that they truly support and even more truly care about our country and about our democratic and economic development. However, there can be no successful and synchronized 
action without wise leadership and good organization. And that's why tonight I want to highlight especially the immense contribution and dedication of the UN resident coordinator in Montenegro, dear Peter, and to give credit for the vision and efforts he made every day, not only in leading, but also in inspiring the people around him. I would like to present him with the award, the Order of the Montenegrin Flag of the Second Degree, which is awarded only for special merits for Montenegro. With great respect and gratitude, and as a sign of our deep recognition for his outstanding contribution and continuous efforts in achieving the goals of the United Nations in Montenegro. Let this recognition be an incentive, not only for him, but also for all of us to continue working together and building a society in which all citizens will be able to live with dignity, with equal rights and opportunities. Dear Peter, thank you for making Montenegro, together with your team, a better place from the perspectives of the SDG agenda. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you again.